You know, when you're fighting space aliens and you've got a space helmet on, uh, but you're not really wearing a shirt, that seems to be a bit of an odd thing. I mean, how warm is it that you're running around topless, but yet you need a, a ray gun and a space suit? I think he's got some sort of cellophane on. The other thing I'm curious about is the space aliens are attacking and they're always going after the lady in the bikini. I'm not so sure that if I traveled 30,000 light years across the galaxy, I'm going to hunt down the lady in the bikini as my first order of business. But hey, I'm not here to judge. I'm here to talk about Captain Science and other amazing science fiction and comic books. And these date all the way back to the 1950s. And these are in the public domain. So in this episode, I'm going to show you some cool comic book covers and interiors. But I've got a bonus tip for you as well. I'm also going to walk through a couple examples of what you can actually do with this artwork. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with a couple of the neat options that you can use with this old vintage stuff. It's pretty cool. Let's jump into it. I hope you're having a great day. And in today's episode, we're going to take a look at science fiction comics. Now, if you're not familiar with this whole free comic book thing, I'm not some illegal copyright pirate. I'm on a public domain website. It's a website called comicbookplus.com, and these are all free and legal. It says right here, even better, all the content is free and legal. And so I'm just going to simply go to the category selection here, and I'm going to scroll on down to look for the genre that I'd like, which in this case today is going to be science fiction. I do want to point out that these are mostly old comic books, so you're going to see some kind of weird stuff. And look, it's from the 1950s, so looking back on it, let's just keep that in mind if we see something that looks a little bit maybe politically inappropriate, shall we say. But let's take a look here. So we've got different science fiction comic books here, and this is page one of three. A lot of people don't know this, but you can select the next button, and you can actually get to page two of three, and there's even more comic books. A lot of people get down to page one, and they kind of go, is that it? No, no, there's more. So I'm just going to like throw a comic book up here. This one's called Lost Worlds, and I'm just picking this stuff at random, but it's kind of cool that we can see here what's involved. So this is Lost Worlds 5 and 6, and this was published by a company called Better or Standard Pines Netter, and I'm going to click on Lost Worlds number 5, and that now gets, I think, a pretty nice high-quality scan of this. Now you can see here there's a big not returnable stamp stuck right in the middle, but if you're relatively well-versed in Photoshop, you can actually paint through this and there's even an online app that you can use uh, to actually clean this up. If we click on the actual comic book, the actual page, this will take us inside the comic book as well. So we can see now there's the city that escaped from tomorrow. And there's a lot of, I think, great old vintagey stuff here. You can see a caveman coming through a time warp. So these are scans of the actual comic book, which is pretty neat. So you can use the individual images, you could use the covers, you could even use, as long as it's not trademarked, you could even use the ads. You know, there's a lot of old vintage ads that are pretty cheesy as well. So for example, this one here is like a little gag page, right? This one's for Double Bubble, right? So this is the ad that ran inside of the actual comic book. There's also visitors from space there's like, you know, this is designed for kids, right? So, I mean, the idea here is that you're reading through the comic and you're seeing different things that are like so-called educational, right? But you get some really cool looking, you know, images here. Let's jump into another one. I'll just go back to the beginning here and I'm going to see, how about we scroll on down and we'll see the Un Mysteries of Unexplored Worlds, 48 books. And this ran from 1956 to 1965. I'll pop that one open. And you can see here, here's all the different covers. So you can just pop them open. I'm just going to click on a couple just to see what we're dealing with here. Here's the first one, Mysteries of Unexplored Worlds. This was a Charlton publication, which was a company that has since gone out of business, hence why this is in the public domain. It's also pretty old too, so often the copyrights expires. And it's basically an old vintage -y comic book. Got the old bodybuilding ads in there. 
So what I'm going to actually do now is I'm going to just walk through a couple examples of where you can use this artwork on a t-shirt, maybe a coffee mug, maybe you're making a high-end art print. You basically have two choices when you're looking at this sort of art, at least in my, like this is the way I do it. So, hey, if there's a different way you do it, that's great. For me, there's basically two ways you can do this. Okay, so there's really two ways that you can market this artwork. One is straight ahead. So that's method number one. And what I mean by that is you just take the comic book as is and you just say, look, this is the cover. And you just put that on a t-shirt, a coffee mug, a poster, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to show you some examples of this where you're not changing it in any significant way other than you're maybe putting a background on it or you're digitally cleaning it up, maybe putting a frame on it, that sort of thing. But the idea is you're selling this as is. Here's an example, Mysteries of Unexplored Worlds from September, 10 cents. And this is a guy getting beat up here by alien monsters. And we've got pirates from future time as well. So this is an example where you could take this image, extract it out of the cover, and then use it for something else. You're substantially changing the meaning of what this is. So you could do this for a joke. You could have this as an ironic t-shirt that sort of thing. So I'm going to show you some examples. Some of them are funny, some of them are weird, but they're kind of taken out of context. The idea is you're taking the illustrations and you're saying, okay, look, these are old illustrations, but I'm going to use this as fodder for me to create a design. I hope you found this helpful. There are literally hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands, tens of thousands of pages all inside Comic Book Plus. And you can see all sorts of really cool vintage looking paintings and also old vintage illustrations. And so I would encourage you to have a look through some of these comic books and you can find just absolutely glorious old vintage artworks and plus, they're just fun to read too, right? So I hope you found that helpful. As always, please do hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave us a comment too. Thank you so much for your time.